FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our championship subdivision.com game of the week preview between the McNeese State Cowboys and the Northern Iowa Panthers. So let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Cowboys. The Cowboys have played some excellent football so far this year on both sides of the ball, and offensively, they are constantly moving the chains and capping off drives with touchdowns. That's very impressive. Now, defensively this week, they're aggressive in the front seven and putting pressure on the quarterback as well. But this time around versus Northern Iowa, they're going to be surely tested in the run defense department, especially on the interior, so they have to be ready to play. Now, for Northern Iowa in this game, you have to love the way David Johnson has run the football this year, averaging 8 yards a carry and 154 yards a game. That opens up the play-action pass, and it is one of the reasons why the Panthers are sitting here undefeated right now. And defensively, the Panthers do an excellent job versus the run, only allowing 2.8 yards a carry and 98 yards a game. Now, versus McNeese, the goal is to make this explosive offense one-dimensional, and my guess is that they want to make Cody Stroud beat them throwing the football. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game for McNeese. You want to move the pocket for Cody Stroud in the passing game. I'm pretty sure Northern Iowa will send pressure all kinds of ways from Sunday. So you want to move the pocket, give him different launch pass to throw the football. And running from the spread test will open things up for your outstanding tailback. Marcus Wilkes, get him the football in space and he can do damage. And third down defense is key. You have to continue to get off the field on third downs. They've done a great job so far this season. Northern Iowa is a different animal. Get these guys off the field and you can have a chance. For the Panthers in this ball game, defensively, you want to protect the slots in the passing game. McNeese loves to spread the field and attack the individual matchups. Don't give up inside position if you're covering the slots and paying off in the red zone. You can move the football 20 to 20, but when you get down in the red zone, you tend to settle for threes and not sevens. You need touchdowns in order to knock off the Cowboys. And the interior offensive line of the Panthers versus the Cowboys defensive line, that's where the Panthers have a huge size advantage. So I look for a lot of inside running this week versus McNeese. The X Factor for the Cowboys will be their run defense. They will be tested on the interior. They give up a lot of weight on the inside, and Northern Iowa can do a great job of running the football, and they want to operate off play action, so you will see a heavy dose of David Johnson in this ballgame, so the run defense definitely has to be in effect. The X Factor for Northern Iowa will be their quarterback, Sawyer Cole Morgan, who has done a great job all season long being efficient with the football and taking shots downfield, accurate shots downfield. And that's going to have to happen this week versus an aggressive defense in McNeese, who will give you a chance to hit those big plays deep downfield. Is up to Cole Morgan to capitalize. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to look out for in this ball game for McNeese. You look at their defensive end, Everett Elphison. 6'3", 230 pounds. This guy would probably be an outstanding edge rusher in a 3-4 defense at the next level. Keep an eye on him. He's their sack leader as well. Marcus Wiltz, we talked about him earlier on in the video. 5'9", 192, breakaway speed. And Cody Stroud, the quarterback, has gotten better each and every year. And as a senior, he's starting to put it all together. I like what I see out of him. The progression is definitely there. And cornerback Guy Morgan is one of the best cornerbacks in the FCS level. Does a great job in man-to-man -man coverage. And for Northern Iowa, look no further than both sides of the line of scrimmage. Look at offensive lineman Dan Kruger, a guy can play guard or tackle, 6'5", 320 pounds. And on the defensive side, Xavier Williams really like what he brings to the table as a five technique as well as a one tech, 6'4", 311, does a great job on the inside. Leonard Smith was an outstanding defensive back for McNeese State from 1979 to 1982. He was a consensus all-conference performer and was also selected All-Louisiana, and in 1983 was a first-round selection of the St. Louis Cardinals. Diedrich Ward is one of the best receivers in program history. You look at a guy that still owns the Missouri Valley Conference as well as the school record for most yards in a career with over 3,800 and most receiving touchdowns in a career with 41. I like McNeese State in this ballgame. Here's a team that can do it on both sides of football. They can play great offense, explosive offense, and on defense, they really can shut you down. And I think this is a team that will go on the road and take care of business versus Northern Iowa.